Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial, I will show you guys how to configure and use Windows Server as a router. So you just need to follow me. Requirements to configure Windows Server as a router, you must have any supported version of Windows Server installed such as Windows Server 2022, Windows Server 2019 or Windows Server 2025. In this tutorial, I am using Windows Server 2025 installed on my PC. The second one is your system should have at least two LAN cards, one for connecting to the external network like your router and another one for internal network to connect additional devices. And lastly, make sure that you have administrator rights on the server because this is essential to install necessary roles and configure router features. So at first I will go to my start or search window and type ncpa.cpl. After type this command, you just need to press enter from your keyboard and it will open network connection window where you can uh, manage your LAN cards. So in this setup, I am using two LAN card on my Windows Server 2025. The first LAN card which is directly connected to my main router and it has an IP address of 192.168.0.160 and it is part of router's network which is 192.168.0.0. And the second LAN card which I'll use to create a separate internal network for connecting new devices. So I will assign it an IP address of 172.16.0.1. So here I will not use any gateway and on DNS I will use my router main router IP address which is 192.168.0.1. After that I will save the settings. So at first we need to enable IP routing on our Windows Server. So IP routing allows your Windows Server to forward network traffic between two or more different networks. And also you can easily connect multiple subnets or VLANs using uh, your server without needing any external hardware router. To enable IP routing on your Windows Server, simply you need to open Server Manager first. After that click on add roles and features. Now click on next. Now here you just need to select role based or feature based or installation. So simply click on next then next and here on this window under server roles you just need to select I mean check uh, remote access and click on next then next and next under role service you just need to enable check that uh, routing option over here and after that click on next. Then next and then next and install. Click on install. After done, simply click on close. Now I have to configure routing and remote access. For that, simply I need to click on tool. Then here you will get an option called routing and remote access. So click on that tool. And on this window, right click on your server and click on configure and enable routing and remote access. Click on next, then select your network address translation which is NAT. And as you can see it is showing like allow internal clients to connect to the internet using one public IP address. So I will click on next. Now here I will select my home router which is 192.168.0.160. So I will select that interface. And after that click on next then click on finish. And now what I'll do is I will connect few devices on my new LAN and I will check if I can uh, access to the internet or not. Also check your firewall settings for that simply go to your start or search window type firewall.cpl and press enter. After open firewall window, you just need to click on advanced settings over here. Now click on inbound rules over here. Now find routing remote access. So make sure that these four services are enabled over here. So make sure that these rules are enabled. Routing information protocol, routing and remote access, 
L2 uh, TP and PPTP and GRE. Make sure that it is enabled. Also, if required, you can disable your firewall. So in my case, it is not required, so I will not disable my firewall. So here is my Windows 11 device. So I have connected the Ethernet uh, this device to that server PC. So I will configure the IP address to this machine. So first I will go to my start window and type ncpa.cpl and press enter. After open network connection. So here is the Ethernet which is connected uh, directly to that server. So I'll right click and go to properties. Click on IPv4 address. So if IPv6 address is checked over here, make sure that you have unchecked. And now double click on IPv4 address. Now here I will type manually the IP address which is range is 172.16.0. And I will uh, set here 13. The IP address is 13. I will set over here. And gateway. And gateway I will set over here. That server machine IP address. Which is 0 0.1. 172 16.0.1 and DNS I will set my router IP address as of now you can use Google DNS like 8.8.8.8 .8 okay after that you just need to click on okay now click on okay now let's see if it is working or not so as you can see it is connected to my network so now I'll open my browser and search anything on Google and as you can see google.com is working properly. Now to check uh, the connection is working properly or not. So I'll see directly open CMD. So here I will use tracert command to the Google. So tracert command is a network diagnostic tool which is used to show the path that data packets take from your computer to a destination and it will help you to identify the network paths. So before ending this video, I would like to share few quick things with you. I create high quality tech related videos every day. So if you enjoy my content and want to support my work, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.